Sunday hanging over the juvenile court since Hunter was indicted and suspended with pay. Curtis Jackson joins me now, and I know you've been asking questions about what's next with the court. What have you found out? Well, Cammie, a conviction and a suspension without pay will keep Judge Hunter from actually presiding over cases, but permanently removing her from the bench, unless she decides to step down, mm -hmm. could take more legal battles. Here's how. Judge Hunter makes $121,350 a year. She has been suspended with pay since January 10th. Her conviction for unlawful interest in a public contract means that she will be suspended without pay. That won't happen, though, until Judge Norbert Nadel submits a certified conviction to the Ohio Supreme Court. That could take about a week or two. The suspension without pay, though, will remain in place unless the conviction is reversed or Hunter is removed from the bench. Hunter could lose her judicial seat if she is disbarred from the practice of law or if she is accused of misconduct and a five-judge panel rules against her. But based on the Ohio Supreme Court rules, the conviction by itself does not create a vacancy. So, of course, Hunter could simply just resign, but that does not appear likely given how hard she has fought right. thus far. Currently, her cases are being handled by retired Judge Tom Lips, who was appointed by the Ohio Supreme Court, and Hamilton County Court of Appeals Judge Sylvia Hendon, a former juvenile court judge herself, who has agreed to step in and handle some of Hunter's cases. Now, the court says the docket is up to speed. Hunter's office remains just the way she left it on January 10th. Okay, so moving forward, if she is forced from the bench or she resigns, how are they going to choose a replacement? Well, then that will be up to the governor, and based on the polls that we're seeing leading up to the November election, that will more than likely be Republican John Kasich remaining in office, allowing him to make that appointment a bit of an irony when you consider how hard Hunter fought to win the controversial right. election and become the first Democrat and African American to sit on the juvenile court bench. And that thing dragged on forever. Mm -hmm. All right, Curtis Jackson, thank you.